All right, we back, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all know what time it is. We are here with another artist, man. It's your boy, Mr. Jefferson. Let's go ahead and get our introductions out the way. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Amber Valley. I feel like we ain't had we uh we ain't do an interview in a while. I might be tripping. We did one. Of, we, we did, did. one with Quan last. Week, yeah, man. man. I think you uh you tripping just because uh the last couple weren't necessarily artists per se. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. We have it. We then been doing like entrepreneurs and shit. Yeah, yeah. Different people, mogul, mini moguls. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so we haven't actually interviewed an artist in a while, man. So I'll let this young man introduce himself. Well, I go by thirty eight sluts. How y'all it. doing? Shit, I'm straight out of Jacksonville, Florida. And that's like I can say I guess. So, People came from New Orleans. You know, you know what we about to ask, man. What side of Jacksonville do you rep? You say you from actually <laughs> Yeah, I was where you born, born at? I was born here. Okay. I got people from New Orleans. I go out there every damn year. It's crazy. I hear that in your music too, man. Yeah, like every year, so it's that's in me. But um I was raised on the north side. It's crazy on my Let me down, brother. <laughs> yeah, I was raised on the north side. Definitely <coughs> Monkey. Clear lines. So let's jump straight in, man. How did you get the name uh, 38 Sluts? Man, that was my fucking Instagram name, bro. <laughs> but I grew up um, listening to young boy and shit like that. I had hoes too, bro. I had hoes all in high school. Yeah. And I fucking um, about 38 hoes around that time, bro. It was about freshman year. Nigga say, I'm going by 38 Sluts. Baby, <laughs> on my name, bro. <laughs> so go I'm with that shit. That. Respect that, bro. That's fire, actually. How you came up with your name? So you had thirty-eight. You literally had thirty-eight sluts. Oh, God, boy. You said, well, "Fuck it, I'm gonna name myself that." Definitely, but I had had the rep. It's crazy, bro. Like I can actually like name them too. Like, no, nah, don't do that on here, Definitely, bro. I don't bro. Want to <laughs> hit us up. Like, what's going on? <laughs> let me let me ask you this, bro. So, a nigga having thirty-eight sluts or thirty-eight bitches or whatever, bro. How do you juggle? <laughs> If somebody was a young man was to listen right now, somebody about 17, they want to be just like you, how do you manage and maneuver 38 women? To be honest, bro, you tell the truth. You really got to tell the truth. 100%. Hey, that's the best shit you, you could have said, bro. my brother. Free no cap, bro. You tell the truth because it's on some shit like, you lie. Motherfucker from the catch in your lie, bro. The dark yeah. must come into the light, bro. Straight Sometime, up. bro. Like, yeah. I, done got, I done did my dirt trying to lie, but. You learn your lesson, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's 38 of them, man. You got <laughs> to lie to at least about 12. Come on, 12 bro. Of them. Nah, man, you got to be smart about what you lie about. That's you what see. it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't tell no big lies. You got to be like, I went to the <coughs> store when your ass was in the mall shopping for your other hoes or some shit. Man, it's fucking sick, bro. Like, I ain't never, it's crazy because I ain't never bought nobody nothing at that time either. I like, that. like, it was just, People I mean, you a freshman. I don't expect. Yeah, you know like know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I say the most thing I probably bought was a pair of shoes for a girl. Like, yeah. it wasn't even nothing like that. Even that's too much, man. So, did you have like a, a list of like whichever ones was your favorite ones? Uh, no, nah, I actually never make no list, bro. Like, I can actually call them on hand, bro. And like, if they answer, bro, they know what's up. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah. But you had had like a favorite one, like a top five. Like, I ain't necessarily yeah. saying like you be on like some MySpace shit. Like a MySpace top five, but it had to be a situation where you were like, oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, it was definitely a consistent five, but it definitely, like I said, consistent five. Um, what you want me to name them? Nah, I ain't want, I don't want name you to do them. Right if you want to name them, I ain't, ain't going to name them, but I like, yo, I ain't going to name them. Yeah. But definitely, it's a consistent five. So we're going to say, yeah, this top five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm about to say, bro, you had to have a favorite one. I mean, you, you know, like, you got to have those. Especially ones. the one you bought the shoes for. You were like, definitely, yeah, yeah. Right. You know, you got to have a lot of shit. I had a couple favorites. I had some eaters. So. I definitely yeah, got to double like, back. I want to know who y'all was. Just DM me. I'll let you know. You got <laughs> to double back sometime, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah, you got to spend the block. Definitely, man. 100. 100 percent. Definitely, but they ain't going in. Sure, neither. Like, <laughs> it might just let you. Yeah. So. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell you this, man. Um, when I saw your profile and whatnot, man, I started listening to your music. I uh, reached out to Amp immediately. I was like, "Yo, we might need to get him on." Yeah. That nigga was like, "Man, say less. It's done." <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I appreciate that. And it's no funny doubt. because you, you, Joe had hit me up and said, well, "Let's get bro on." 
And then yeah. like you hit hit me up and yeah. I was like, Oh, okay, well that's that's how God work, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Man, I was like, Oh, up. so bro hit me up and I'm like, damn, Joe was just talking about bro the other day and then he hit me up. And I was like, All right, we can't get to him right now, but we're gonna we gonna eventually make some magic work. I want to salute you also, man. You brought us some merch too. First artist to bring us some merch, yeah, some bro. gifts through. I appreciate that for real. For man. real. I start to take off the scarf, man, but you know, uh Humdu Allah. Yeah, man. I got some skis <laughs> and some truckers and shit like that. I got underwear too. I gotta bring y'all your size when hold I come up, back. You got some drawers? I got underwear too. Alright, that's that. really good. For the, the freak bulls, you know Definitely. what I mean? You know, uh Shut your hoes, you know? Definitely. Uh shout out Goldit. Uh, he gave me the little manufacturer okay. for the shit. So, um, yeah, I think his name Kid J. But yeah, he had gave me the manufacturer. So we started um, working things out, getting sweatsuits, getting all that shit together. We finna launch 2023. That's what's yeah. up, man. That's we what's got up, some man. more coming Talk soon. Talk about the brand a little bit. Um, Hard Night Records, man. It's a label. I, th- I think I'm gonna make it like a marketing label. Somehow, like, for the artists a little bit. But at the same time, like, Provide merch because people don't have merchandise. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. A lot of artists don't have merchandise. Like like you said. So like uh, that's my main focus because that's what people make money off of. Man, they ain't really giving no people money off of um, music. Music no more. Yeah. Yeah. Streams don't cost shit no Come more. Come on, bro. Like yeah. stream. And if, and if you thinking you making money digitally, get that shit out your head. Streams, views, man. all of that shit is more so about <coughs> influence and then yeah. what you can sell. So. That's the label front you that cover, man. But it's gonna be hard, bro. No cap, bro. Yeah. Therefore, you gotta come up with different incomes on the way up, like. I think that's the little focus right now. So, um, with your label, man, you got anybody signed right now? Well, not necessarily signed. Uh, you got anybody on the team right now? Bars, Gotti, Chief Honcho, Young Shot, Cam and Nasty. We got a couple folks, man. We just. Oh, the Cam, okay, the Cam, yeah. The Cam, shout, the out the Cam. Cam. Yeah, shout, shout out to Cam. Yeah, shout out to Cam, bro. All them boys, yeah. Um, people don't even know Young Shot, my brother. Blood All brother. Right. Would have never guessed that, yeah, my brother. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Shot, man. I got some shit coming with him too. He got a little De Niro capsule. Cam Nasty got a capsule. That's why they call them capsules. So yeah, yeah. Finna start. Yeah, see, I promise you, bro. That shit finna be wicked. For sure, man. Sound like you got a good crew for sure. Uh, Cam yeah. music go hard. I fuck with Young Shot. Um, I haven't heard of uh, what was the first artist uh, you mentioned? Chief Honcho. Chief Honcho. Yeah, new uh, artist too. I heard I heard his uh, feature on your uh, album. So yeah. I thought that was dope. Thought that was dope. Appreciate sure. that. Shout out to you. Definitely. Um, I met him coming up in school. Me and him did a rap back at uh, Shop Boy Studios. Okay. Eventually, you know, we started working. I let I taught him how to record um, on Pro Tools and shit like that. Yeah. Started getting it in. Y'all gonna start seeing him too. Familiar face. Yeah. So how long you been rapping now, man? I said about what? Three years. Three yeah. years. Okay. Honed in on your sound pretty quick. Yeah, but that was the crazy part. Cause at first I thought I was trash, but no cap, like you know how that be. Some people don't think like they ain't built for it, like you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Eventually, it took time. People told me I was always doing it back in the day, but mm-hmm. I don't really like see it like that. It was like I was always joking around and shit like that when I was doing it. What you mean, like freestyling and whatnot? Yeah, like just playing. Yeah, I feel Literally. like everybody have a little little stage in their life where they just be. Freestyling and shit. Yeah, for the I always say I feel like everybody got a first somewhere in like they notepad that they wrote when they were like a young nigga or something like that. Boy, definitely. My like, first rap was so ass. Yeah. <laughs> man, it was so ass. I found them when I was like 19 years old. I almost burned the whole book. I That's say, book, God man. damn, nigga, I had a bar about a cat scan. I was like eight years old, <coughs> though, so y'all gotta, you know, understand that. But yeah, that bitch said something about a cat scan. I was like, oh nah, get this shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> let the whole see this. Nah. <laughs> man, that shit crazy, man. I'm talking about. I say the first time I wrote, bro, I went recorded with my brother Young Shot at his house, and he was like, okay, it's lit, bro. But in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, it was going. But I started getting older, started realizing, like, man, like, I started realizing voice control. Yeah. And that shit started, like, really affecting me. It started making me mad towards shit, like, because I was like, damn, I want to get it right. Like, I want to get it right so bad. Yeah. So I say from that point on for I started um working on it with D-Ready. And that's how we've been going. And then I started recording myself. Gotcha. So what's your technique when you record music? Do you, like... Cause um, we get some people in here, they say they don't write shit. Yeah, I, I was like, just gonna say, 
I feel like writing makes me worse. Okay. I go off my head now because I feel like it's coming from me. Why, feel, you, why you think it makes you worse when you write? You feel like you. Uh, I'm making. I feel like much. I'm making it up. Yeah, like literally. Yeah. I feel like I'm making it up. Okay, that makes sense. Like when it's off my head, I'm saying it or I'm manifesting it. Literally. So what you do? You do like the punch in method. You yeah, like definitely the punch in method. Head. Punch in method, freestyle. Yeah, let me do it over. Run it back. Run it back. Keep going. How long would you say a session takes for you? One song, forty-five minutes. To 50 to hour. Okay. okay. Definitely. You ain't wasting no time. Two verses. Oh, definitely. No time. Gotta get it gone. I heard that. <laughs> so let's uh let's backtrack a little bit, man. So how was your childhood like? Yeah, um, mom had it pretty straight for me. I don't stay with my mom now, but it's straight. It was like um real easy, I guess you could say. I wasn't really like Having that heart, do it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. People are straight, honestly. Life is good. That's good. That's what's up. I, yeah, thank That's God I ain't had no troubles. Yeah, definitely. But shit, um, I say by the time I got around high school, you know, hate. That come with life, though. Right. So you deal with that, head on, face consequences. You know what I'm saying? So growing up, man, like when exactly did you feel like you fell in love with music? Hmm. I always love music. Like my mom, always, my mom always had me listening to music. Cause you know how your mom always like cleaning and shit like yeah, that, yeah, man. Yeah. All that like good shit. So I probably like I don't know, like four. My first song, my first song I started liking was like Fat Albert, the Fat Albert theme <laughs> song, bro. <bruh. laughs> no cap, bro. I used to sing that shit all damn day, but. That bit did jam now. Nah. Definitely, bro. Like, hard as fuck. No cap. It did jam. No cap. That was the shit. As soon as you heard it's fat out, but the nigga was dropping <laughs> well, everything in my hands. Running all over the house. <laughs> like what? Man, what? She got a whole video of me doing that shit. Like an old recording. <laughs> That's crazy. Man, you gotta post that one day. You still got it. Mm-hmm. I feel like it. if you ain't like get dressed up as one of the uh junkyard kids or like <coughs> I, I think i had like a sweater on or some shit like a sweater and some pants yeah man if you wasn't like that close to it you, <laughs> you ain't have a great childhood yeah man you your mama used to try to push in the overalls and shit like that the little red sweater when that platinum fubu drop well wow, what uh, yeah I, I would tell the story about um i had some fake platinum fubu one time oh they were roasting my, my ass Nigga, I had told my mom, you remember the Platinum Fubu with the yeah, it was Fat Hour playing football? Uh -huh. oh. And I told my mom, like, get me that. And she like, I got you. She went to like City Trends or some shit. This nigga was and that playing shit, soccer. Yeah, that shit ain't have Fat Albert, bro. That shit had like a rhino or some Damn. shit on it, dog. Playing That's football. Crazy, Damn. She was like, this this what you wanted, right? I was like, yeah. nah. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, nah, this ain't Fat Albert. She said, you gonna wear that shit. So I done fucked around, had to wear the damn foot, uh, jersey with the rhino on it, bro. They were tearing my ass up, bro. You ain't even have Echo, bro. Nah, that shit was, I don't know what, the, that shit just said platinum on it. That's crazy. That shit was crazy, bro. Yeah. You was supporting the local nigga, bro. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> yeah, bro. That shit came straight out of City Trend. Like, damn. Uh, damn. Oh man, mama gotta get the money, bro. You know yeah. how that hey, shit look, be. I've told the story <laughs> on the podcast before. I told my mom I wanted some forces uh my eighth grade year. Yeah. Week before the school started, you know, you getting everything in order. She like, you know, like, yo, this how you finna be stepping. My mama bought me a pair of FUBU's <laughs> shoes. They look like forces. Oh right. Like they had the, the silhouette of forces. All right. But no, 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 no. They were all white, bro. I probably would have got away if they was all white. They were blue and white, royal blue. They were oh. royal blue. They was like regal blue. You know what I'm saying? Like royalty blue, nigga. Um, they had mm. crochet leather. Oh like, my God. Oh my the leather Lord. was woven literally across the toe and the sides. Yeah, them bitches, hey, they was hard, though. I, I, I wore them bitches. You had to wear them, dog. I wore them bitches, you know what bro. I'm saying? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, nigga, y'all see me in them full boots. I remember one time, bro, I was in kindergarten, bro. 
Cause you know I grew up in the 2000 era, mm-hmm. bro. When the Spider Man shoes and shit was coming out, bro, I wanted them bitches so bad, bro. Mama was cursing me out mm-hmm. in the fucking mall about that shit. That's funny. You're not getting the fucking shoes. She bought me some <laughs> fucking blazers, bro. Yeah. So. She brought you some Nike blazers. Your mama said you gonna be cool. I never liked them Nike blazers, bro. Them shits look. You <laughs> fuck with them, dude. <laughs> The Blazers straight. They got a couple pair. They got a couple pair. She bought me like a little, they was like Lego looking colors. Like Mm -hmm. they was square and it was like red, orange, green, yellow. It was a whole bunch of different colors, man. I feel like the Blazers hard, but you got to be like a person that can wear Blazers. Not everybody can throw on a pair of Blazers and make them look good. Yeah, man. It was hard, bro. Like, I don't know. She set outfits out for me, though, so it was straight. Yeah. Yeah. I wore whatever they made me wear Mm -hmm. for a long time. Events I, I got whatever they bought me. Definitely, yeah, like my daddy bought me a pair of K Swiss. I'd never forgive that nigga for that shit. <laughs> Ever. Nigga, I was in Virginia. Everybody <laughs> wearing forces. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit, a oh K-Swiss. shit. Damn, bro. Hey, this nigga hate me. I mean, I had some K Swiss, bro. What? Second grade, bro? I oh, wasn't that nigga, bad. I was in seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> K Swiss had their time for a little bit. Like, damn. They bro. did, bro, but we was young as fuck. Yeah, how outdated time. was that, bro? <laughs> I, at that time, yeah, nigga, that was probably like three, four years outdated. Like in middle school, nobody was wearing K Swiss. No one I know has a period to where they was like, yeah, nigga, I had K Swiss <laughs> in sixth grade. I feel you like K Swiss they came back for a second, like two thousand six, two thousand seven. For yeah, mm-hmm. but like I, that was probably months. around when I was around. Yeah. But like six months, if you had them uh, all white K Swiss and they was clean, niggas thought you sold weed. Yeah. Yeah, you could go to the mall and sell you a nickel bag. It could be, <laughs> it could be some bushes, you know what I'm saying? You could Definitely. grab the leaves off the uh, outside the mall, mm-hmm. make a quick five dollars if you had them white K Swiss. Damn, yeah, niggas are doing too much. Niggas start doing like the high talk K Swiss. I'm oh, like, yeah, all right, bro, yeah, yeah. Right, kill right, yourself. Don't here retire these motherfuckers. It's too many bro. stripes, nigga. You all ass need to be in jail. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah. I wonder how that shit was though, like back back then or like hell. Cause I was too young to understand that shit. You get what I'm saying? Man, like back in the day, your shoes mattered. Damn, nigga, your shoes mattered. It did. Like, honestly speaking, I feel like you could you could get away with a bummy ass fit if you had on some fresh ass kicks. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, nigga could have on some. I wear a 32 jean. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I could wear a pair of 36 jeans, a damn 4X t-shirt. And some hard ass, uh, them cool gray threes when them bitches drop, nigga. I remember my fit. Like three of me could have fit in that bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> in my first fit, yeah, three of me could have fit in them. But I had them cool gray threes. Got all the hoes. Hell all no. the hoes. See, I ain't started like start thinking about clothes till like what I don't know sixth grade. But I had to wear uniforms because I had uh, went to Fort Carolina Middle and shit. Got you. So it was hard, but I had to wear um. Uniforms and I, main thing you had to worry about was the sneakers, but my dad bought me some Carmelo Anthony, boy. So I was like, that was all the thing. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you what, right. though, them bitches was so. I was such a Carmelo <laughs> fan, dog. In middle school, the mellows. Me too, was dog. So but I had the braids and all, dog. I'm talking yeah, about no cap, bro. When I cop the mellows, I went to school, bro. And you know they had that little suede on them. The oh black yeah. Ones. yeah, yeah. Bro, don't even don't even kick your feet around me, nigga. If I get dust on these motherfuckers, I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> now I kept by clean that whole school year, dog. The entire school year. Yeah. So hard. shit, let me ask you, man. So like with the rapping and whatnot, how you feel about a uh, rapper's image? How important is that in music? In I mean, in your image nowadays, bro. Like it's kind of like I ain't gonna say niggas gotta do too much, but like yeah. definitely, bro. Like it's not even do too much but you gotta have that bad bro you know yeah. what i'm saying everybody want to have that bad so it's on some shit like it's about putting yourself on the screen i guess um marketing tip how to be the star you are the star you know what i'm saying like be the star i'm assuming i guess like definitely yeah, that makes sense because i mean a lot of people i was told when i was coming up it was on some shit like <coughs> you want people to hear you but you're not feeling yourself, you know what I'm saying? 100% your confidence, your swagger. Definitely, like, I had a hard time feeling myself. I still do a lot, you know what I'm saying? But we all go through shit. Yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, you do a good job of masking that. Like, uh, as I was 
you know doing my research and such mm -hmm. i thought it was really cool to see in such a short span of time how many videos you have yeah oh, man i think i don't have enough to be honest i mean <laughs> you know when you when you an artist you you always gonna feel like you can never yeah. have enough whether it's record and that's why you see people dropping 30 song albums yeah, right. today and shit, you know mm -hmm. but um i think there you do got to give yourself credit because not many artists like even in my entire rap career i didn't have <coughs> half the amount of videos that you have today you mm -hmm. know what i mean resources were different of course mm -hmm. but again like it shows your commitment it shows your versatility so appreciate that but yeah. shout out to the team for real because um without them probably wouldn't mean maybe this happened so talk about that uh who, who who shoots your videos um i got a couple people that shoot videos for me i went to a lot of different people around Jacksonville, shot at the kid with a cannon, Matt videos, Rocky. Um, I'm out working with D-Ready for the first uh, about four videos when yeah. I first started. Yeah. Like, be okay, come around, all that stuff like that. God and Guns, that was Mac. So Mac on God and Guns, um, he ended up giving me the video for free on my birthday. That was supposed to be a $500 video. That's what's up. Yeah. That's love. So um, we went to try to get it posted on Say Cheese, but Say Cheese was, went with the guns at the point in time. So, Got you. Yeah. Got you. I ain't all the way pushed that. <laughs> Definitely. And that's how it came out. But, you know, how I got to find that role. I heard that. All right, let's go ahead and get into that, because you just said it was a $500 video. Yeah, I definitely I'm think it's it. worth the, yeah, a review. I'm about to play it. The viewers about to see it right now. <laughs> Tell me if you think this shit $500. Let's get it. We about to get it. You say you got it for the free. Yeah, man. Shout out Matt Video for that, man. Let's get it. What you bout, I heard you from the south, bitch, run your mouth Ow. It won't be long, it's pistol in your mouth You bound across the line, so tote that iron You do that anyway, won't let you bust my mind I'm hard to find, it's no, I'm wrong the way I'm pressing nigga, shit, it's in the blitz It come from separate ways, I'm inside, I'm with it, can't hurt it had a lot to say, what you heard I'm with my niggas, chillin' around the curb Ain't worried about my phone, that's why I got it on Do not disturb, tweetin' about that fight My cousin want his brains right side of the curb Just to take your life, so just think twice Why you chose your words, the way that I saw Many niggas won't kill me, I talk my body, I know they don't feel me Got niggas who pie and playing the zip I'm high in the bush, so niggas keep seeing me Got niggas who rifles who pop on TV Sweetie bitch will be sick, tell come a new scene I ain't worried about shit, tell the bitch you gon' see me The bitch wanna fight, I'ma make such time like Oh, what makes you wanna fuck with 30? These choppers bust your mind and leave you places you ain't supposed to lay I told them plenty of times, don't cross that line, they smoke them anyway These niggas really dying for some dimes, but fuck it, bring the cake it's Like, bitch, come out the drape, ride with a thug, get pot in the face Niggas step out of line, put a bitch in this place We stay in the line, put a bitch in the grave These niggas won't speak on the shit I gave them Ride with a Glock in my pocket like David I'm thankful my God for the life that he made I'ma make sure I put the bitch face in his legs Sides and guns, we lay by choppers, bitch We shoot for fun, won't have no ones You came to jump, I acted out all my guns I'm toe to toe, bitch, what you bout? I heard you from the south, bitch, run your mouth It won't be long, this pistol in your mouth You bound across the line, so close that iron You do that anyway, won't let you bust my mind I'm hard to find, it's no, I'm wrong the way I'm pressing nigga, quick, this in the blitz It come from separate ways, pull on side and wait, they can't I heard he had a lot to say, off the land he taught that shit while I just popped his friend But you never nigga had the nerd I right fucking in Heard he had a baby but it's sad because he played a game Talking like he can't be touched can only lead him over revenge Play like you be by that watch I pop you Pull up blush and knock it Pop out holy moly shoot like whoa the clay you bound to toe it Rolling by my lungs can give two fucks for what I say I owe you Pull up I don't know you Pop a nigga like he said he chose him Guys and guns we lay by choppers bitch we shoot for fun won't have no ones You came to jump I empty all my guns I'm draw to talk Bitch what you bout I heard you the south, bitch, run your mouth. It won't be long, this pistol in your mouth. You bound to 
cross the line, so tote that iron. You do that anyway. Won't let you bust my mind, I'm hard to find. Just know I'm round the way. I'm pressing nigga, quick to send the bitch. They come from separate ways. Pull on side, I'm with the K. I heard he had a lot to say. Alright, what's the story behind the video? Alright, man. Man, this shit took us, like, I wrote this out, like, I don't know, probably like five months before we did that video. It all started off with a motion cover. Shout out Trail Graphics from Atlanta. Um, He had did a motion cover. Everybody went crazy about that. It probably did, like, I don't know, like 8,000 views that day. And that was probably the highest views I got at that point in time. I don't think, like, I wasn't popping at all around that then. So, after that, I started going nuts. All type of promo and marketing. Right. Shit, Matt videos. I hit him up, because I seen his videos. He was doing videos for Fulio and shit like that. So, I hit him up. We got to it. Next thing you know, I told him I had a concept. Me and him started FaceTiming each other and shit like that every day. We talking about the, the video, planning for the video. We are making a good relationship out of shit. Next thing you know, video day come. We got all these different locations. How many locations did y'all do? Cause I was gonna say that's a lot for a free video, man. Um, that was like, I don't know, probably like three. Yeah, that's a lot for a free video, man. That's like three. Oh, that's love. But all in the same spot though, it's crazy. Like, probably like right around the corner from each other. Got you, got you, got you. But definitely, it was a little dry though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was like surprised. I said, not for a free video. I was surprised, bro, because it was crazy. It was a lot going on at that point in time. And, like, I thought I was going to have to push the album back because I was planning to drop for my birthday. Right. I kept pushing it back. I had went to H. Dot in Orlando, all type of shit. Told him I was going to drop it in August. Next thing you know, he hit me up the day of my birthday. I'm talking about 12 o'clock just came. He said, I'm going to stay up all night to do the video. Next thing you know, did the video. <coughs> Posted it around like two o'clock that day. Yeah, went stupid. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Hell of a way to bring a birthday in. Uh huh. Got a ton of views too. Definitely, bro. That shit turned me up. But I was happy as fuck, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of God and Guns, man, um, my favorite song on that project was uh, On Dukes. That shit. Appreciate hard. that, bro. That shit oh hard. wow. Yeah, man. Okay, that, bro. <laughs> that shit go crazy. Oh, that. Definitely. I ain't even do no videos and none of that yet, and it's kind of like that be messing with me because I gotta get that shit done. But like, I don't know, y'all don't think it's too late? Nah, never, never nah. too late. Nah, nah. Shit, I be I fucking gotta... myself up right in the head, bro, right? because I be like, bro, I can't wait to do that shit, bro. But the thing is, I hate being that. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait, ass nigga, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, look, music. If it's good, it's timeless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Even it, to be real, even if it, it it speaks to a moment in time, you know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. good to have as much representation for the record as, as you can. So <clears throat> I'm a big fan of uh, having videos, whether they're later or now. Don't be Kaya, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> drop a song. I mean, drop a video for a 20 year old song. But, <laughs> Definitely. You know. Definitely. Something came out last year within the last two years. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's dope to bring light to that. You know what I mean? Because it adds to the more content that you have. Um, it also gives viewers a different perspective, you know, as far as uh, your artistry. So, Definitely. Yeah, especially if you like, you want to rise and you're independent. I don't, yeah. matter. I don't know if y'all seen it, uh, Trap Land Pat. Definitely. He dropped that song with Rick, Rick Ross. Ross. Yeah. Uh, He's been pushing that song for like three years and Definitely. he just now did the remix like recently. Yeah, man. Yeah, like, if you got a song and you believe in that shit, just keep pushing it. Uh, mm -hmm. Kid Cudi pushed uh, day and night for like five years. Like, I mean, um, a lot of people don't know about that shit. People that support you, they gon' they gon' they gon' support you regardless. That's so. the thing nowadays. People just so um, I seen y'all interview about that shit. Motion cinematic. I watched the full thing. People just so like drop, drop, drop. You know what yep, I'm saying? Yep, yep. So I was like, damn, bro. Like, it made me feel like I was a part of that. Then you know that's the culture right now, so it's like, but nah, y'all make me feel like okay, I'm doing good for myself. Like, all right, 
I ain't in no rush, like you know what I'm saying? Right. Nah, it, you never have to rush yourself. I mean, it's a process, and and in that you see progress. You know Definitely. what I mean? Um, as long as you're seeing the progress, nothing else, nothing else matters. Don't yeah. concave to the pressure. You know what I mean? Like, ain't nobody pushing you but yourself. You yeah. know. So, I think this. It's great to put out uh, an extreme amount of content, whether it be a multitude of songs uh, and videos or, you know, just focusing on videos. Like I know today, a lot of artists don't put out records unless they can put out a video with it. You know what I mean? So um, I do think things like that are good. But like we said in that interview, I think a, a bit of the artistry is taken away from it because you have to push things out so fast. You know what I'm saying? Um but you know you 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 are on the right track it, it, you know when you when i listen to your music uh nothing sounds forced and i think that um it sound you know it definitely sounds genuine um those are that's things that are thing. important yeah, yeah, yeah that's the main thing i'm trying to do right now because it's like that's what i'm not hearing no more like you know what i'm saying it's a lot of shit i'm not hearing no more i don't see those like i but i was just talking to somebody about this shit last night it's like People got like three more years to do that diss and shit, bro. Like, no oh cow. man, that shit done. That shit done you know now. Saying? People don't realize it. It's it's like those artists that um that are doing that dissing and shit. They right. won't have that tenured career like we see from any other artist. You can name one hit wonders. Young Bird. I know he's a a celebrated producer at this point, mm -hmm. but Young Bird could perform "Sexy Can I" any day of the week any day of the week and get paid you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. six nine really six nine could go on a tour and get paid just off the fact that he put out a a a, a good catalog of songs that people can over time Definitely. still continue to appreciate as you mature you know like how old are you mm, 20. man look we got we got a few years on you you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and as you mature shit like that you start to look at it in a different way life experiences you know what i mean it's one thing when you're on this side of it but when it happens close to you and you know you have to deal with that anger you have to deal with those emotions and things of that sort you know it's a lot different so okay. hey, yeah there's a lot that goes into it but um like i say i think uh listening to your music um you do a good job of telling a story without you know telling descriptive facts and things definitely. like that so you know i'm just trying to keep this shit like that definitely you explain it exactly how that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> yep that's the way i'm trying to do things man just keep everything blunt though a little bit who are some of your influences like rappers wise mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, well, we, actually, we need both. We need rapper wise and non musical like, and influences. Non -musical. Okay. okay. So, one, I got a sister named Nita. I got my brother Shy. Uh, and my mom. My mom, a social media manager. So, she like been doing social media shit her whole life. So, it's like, I really can go to her, but I really don't be going to her because it's like, even still, my mom type right. shit. Like, yeah. Some of the songs. Yeah. yeah. She's like, you tripping? Like, she just told me, like, because I've been taking a break from music. She was like, man, you, you tripping, bro. You need to get your ass in the fucking studio, man. You've been wilding, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, next thing you know, get back in there. So, Nita. Shit, Nita been telling me. She been pushing me since day one. You know what I'm saying? Since I started. Like, so, she big influence on everything. Like, telling me what direction to go with everything. I don't know how long she been in the music shit, but she know what she talk about, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? And my brother been rapping since I was, what, 14, shit. So, that nigga been going for a long time. I say your brother is an uh, elite rapper. He's like, very That nigga, <laughs> boy. <laughs> shout out to Young Shot. <laughs> oh, my shit. God, dog. But, definitely. Um, Rapper-wise, shit. I got a couple ones in Jacksonville. I got a couple ones. Real life, shit. Young boy one. Cause I think everybody listening to him, we keep that shit real blunt, yeah. bro. Niggas hate him, but shit, it is. Uh, the niggas talented. Definitely, bro. Uh, I got who else? Lil Wayne, bro. I grew up listening to Lil Wayne, 
Eminem. People think he kind of corny though, bro. I grew up listening to Eminem. Um, I tried to rap when I was younger. My mom told me uh, I couldn't curse, so I had to listen to Will Smith. <laughs> Tight shit. That's funny as hell. Bro, listen to him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael Jackson. Shit. Shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. It wasn't a lot of too much going on. Like, I was just listening to shit that was coming on, like, one of six parts. Shit. Right, right. Shit, my first real album, like, that wasn't a burn CD, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Or wasn't, like, a compilation disc mm-hmm. that my brother gave me was uh, uh, Lil Bow Wow. Yeah. That first, that uh, the Dog Pound or whatever his first album was called. Oh, uh, Beware of the Dog. Beware of the Dog, yeah. Beware of the Dog. Um, boy, for one, first off, that couple was hard as fuck. That nigga was holding, hold, had the dog on the leash. Oh, yeah, yeah. He on the, he on the couch jersey, the uh, brown jersey. Yeah, man, outside the gate. Young, hard man. as fuck. Man, so, yeah, I only bring it up to say my people's, bruh. So, when I, when I was his, his age, I was probably like a year or two younger than Bow Wow. Um, I, I wanted to rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was rapping. And um, I told everybody in my family, like, yo, like, it's my inspiration, man. That nigga in the game. Go ahead and get me the album. Everybody got me that album. <laughs> like, Damn, like, so you had, like, each other. I had three, three copies. I had three copies of Beware the Dog. Damn. That shit was funny as hell. It was a great album though. It was yeah, great. Yeah. Man, the album was so fire. You plug, you put it into the. You too young for this shit. Yeah, you hear me? I'm too young. You put the shit into the computer, and nigga it had a video game. Oh yeah, I remember. I played it. Nigga, what? It a video game. The shit was crazy. Motherfuckers <laughs> yeah, trying to send emails and shit. Nigga, I'm on this motherfucking video game. Like hell no. Nah. Wait till I get to a hundred. Hell you know, nah. Bro, you had to like ride a bike and shoot a basketball and shit. Yeah, bro. Damn. Uh, like Mike was about to come out. Yeah. Or it had just came out. It was something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember like Mike the movie. Yeah. Yeah, man. Now, see, yeah. that was some real shit he just told you because I had I forgot it had a game on it. Yeah. So you said you trying to market your shit, so you should come up with something. Damn, I don't man. know exactly what you would do in like th- this era. Uh, I got you. Okay. You can actually retro your shit right so they have it today to where now this this gonna have to get bleeped out so my mans can you know what i'm saying <laughs> reap the benefits or you gotta be quick definitely. uh but you can actually create your own super nintendo games definitely like i sold the button but on right now um more or less so you can actually create a game like a a, a physical copy of a Super Nintendo game, and and oh, yeah. all you'd have to do is get like a Super Nintendo. Most you could find one locally, probably for like 30, 40 bucks for real. That if right. it was like online, it's probably like one hundred and fifty, you know. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, you got a Super Nintendo shit, you got a game, and really, you could force your market to buy it. You get a couple of them, you find a vendor or some shit. That's you right. got ten, you could sell them bit upcharge. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah, yeah. There's all kinds of ways, you know. Mm-hmm. And with all these apps today, you could definitely see what's possible. Get on Fiverr and see if you could come up with something that's uh like a quick little plug and play. You know? Uh, what I mean? Yeah. Somebody was just talking to me um last night too about the metaverse. Mm-hmm. It was trying to tell me about the metaverse and um that you could charge people in there too. Could they pay? One hundred percent for concerts and shit like that, bro. 100%. I was like, damn. They said the dirt got one on right now. Uh, what's his name? Post Malone. Yep. All that shit. I'm like, damn. So, yeah, it's not too many people messing with the metaverse yet. Yeah, Artist wise. So, awesome. They said it's like three billion people that didn't bought it. That's international. The thing though is, you have to um, there. You have to really like study the market. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It would take a lot more work than Definitely. than necessarily. Um, how I think you're going right now. Right, right, right. Then pitch into a local market mm-hmm. or even pitch into the internet per se. Yeah, and that was, um, my brother was trying to tell me that too. You have to find those that are that are in the metaverse. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Find ways to interact with them, find ways to engage them and Definitely. things of that sort. You know, it's not as easy as, you know, hey, I'm in the metaverse and three billion people are not Definitely. accessible. But um like I say it's a lot of ways that you can definitely capitalize on um today's you know resources mm-hmm. um the oculus the oculus is huge yeah no one is talking about ways to tap into that 
And that's a great market, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And this could be a long-term pitch, but, you know, you think of some way that you could you could create your own game, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I forget bruh's name that did the, the Monopoly set or something like that with his daughter. He used to teach her to um, work the guns. Oh, you talking about he had tattoos all over his face and shit. Yeah, I know exactly um, what you're talking about. Damn, I forget his name. My listeners will tell us. But um, he created, like, a, a game that was based off Monopoly, mm -hmm. but it, like, educated people on real estate, um, working with the banks and things like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, like, a way that you could, you could, you have to do your research from it still. You know what I mean? But it just gave you a different mindset, you know? Mm -hmm. So... There's a lot of things you could do. You could even get into any kind of board game. Oh, that type of shit, man. A God and Guns Monopoly would be kind of fire. <laughs> Boy, roll, a, roll a seven and, and pull up on Moncrief. <laughs> like, get robbed. Uh, like, you pull yeah, up man. on Moncrief and pull a chance card. <laughs> that bitch be like, get robbed for all you got. <laughs> I'm the rest of your time. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I'm about to turn. Hell <laughs> yeah, nah. Nigga go to Riverside and it'd be, it'd be like a, like a brick of cocaine and see if you can sell it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> oh shit. Man, it's, it's, yeah, it's so much you could do like marketing wise. I feel like yeah, a lot yeah. of people ain't tap. Like everybody do like around the same shit, but it's dope. You got the merch and all that shit. You say you got draw. Nobody else got draw, bro. Yeah, nah, nobody, nobody got the draw. What's Soldier Boy at, bro? <laughs> Soldier boy ain't got Soldier boy, boy ain't got draws, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Definitely, man. I'm trying to get all that shit, man. I'm talking about and all for all artists too. Like, definitely, like we're just gonna work something out. We're gonna get it down pat. Like that is. So if hey, if any of y'all serious, y'all heard it here, man. I let 38 sluts. Definitely, just, just hit the damn, damn, bro. Yes, indeed. I posted every day, man. So like. I got a couple artists who follow me. They see what's going on, man. Yeah. You Why? definitely grinding, man. Definitely, I see man. I'm trying to get that, man. What you feel like your hardest song is out of your whole catalog? I know that's a hard ass question. Oh my that's god, oh, love it. Have tough. Mercy. I don't know. Um, if I go off what everybody else gonna tell me, no, I can't do that, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. God, Lord. Yeah, I was, just, <laughs> god, I, was, I was just about to ask you, like, what's the one that you get the most reaction to? God and Guns and Nino Flow right now. Okay. Nino Flow hard. I just dropped Nino Flow this yeah. year. I didn't want to drop that. Um, shout out my cousin, Cho I didn't. They <laughs> always <laughs> say, they always say the song that you don't like is the one people love. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God and Guns. I think Bye Bye is probably my favorite song out of all my songs right now. And songs on Losing What Matters, uh, Potion. Okay. okay. I like that song, Potion, Head Down with DJ Shell. Got you. Yeah, yeah. I heard that one. Definitely. Um, those are good choices. Those yeah, are good choices. Like I said. I got I a think, couple. Like, I don't know. Like, that would be. Uh, 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 on Dukes is one of my uh, one of my top ones from you for sure. And that was crazy because that was one of my favorite. That's why I was like, oh, shit. Because, like. A lot of my uh, homeboys, they, they liked it, but they was like, they had other choices, like, you know what I'm saying? So, definitely. Damn. You want to go ahead and play the Nino Flow video while we got it up? Definitely. All right, let's get into it. Hell yeah. Shout out, Rocky. We got some more shit coming. All right, one more time. We are a QT man. Uh -uh. <laughs> I heard he pisses out here, word of mouth. Yeah, word of mouth. So the fuck she like it dick big and all she try to trap me at the cut out. There ain't you know I fuck them all. Fuck my I ain't fuck tempted, my, my shit tend to wreck every time I want, I bet she put it out. I'm wrong, I'm gonna put that switch I'm on. That switch on. I'm fucking on the Ipo, I got big money. Bitch, I got big money. I'm gonna shoot like three more. Shoot like three more. I'm gonna be dead. Tell 'em come show me. For real, I'ma talk about shit. I just got titter on my blunt. Nigga know how that go. I got that 
drank up in my cup Let go, let go Pussy niggas stay hating on my songs, they know I'm tough I know I'm tough, I make them money But it's baby mom won't fuck with y'all, no one of these bitches won't Like what's his name, I name my blunt This pussy nigga know what's up And if I don't, I bet I show them now Say throw your set up in my way, look you good That shit move on, you won't have no help but she love more than me. She love more than me. Fucking her, her friend, her friend want more. She want more for me. She say I'm wrong, but bitch don't come say for me. Say bitch don't come for me. Cause I can leave you alone, bitch you won't have for bitch me. Bitch you won't have for me. I just hope that God'll probably let me in. Let me in. Hopefully that bitch me and shot in. Let me in the bench. I can handle my friends, it's just my enemies. It's just my enemies. Nigga died from a bitch, we call her Swiss and Sweet. Pussy niggas can't rap, I know they sick of me. I know they sick of me. Dying over that bitch, that bitch died on his knees. Set a nigga up and dick her suck on me. Come suck on me. Not a nigga with your one for Christmas, not a fucking thing. Ain't fucking thing. Ain't gonna tell you lies, it's just me being honest. Me Bitch, what? Honest. I'm gonna feed you lies, it's just me being honest. Just me being honest. Promise left you broke, but I bet you'll try to take your time. I don't give a fuck, gotta spend that game, gotta make his mama cry. Pussy nigga started buzzing, had to get the duck and what a mama took my life. I'm a son of that guy. Fucked up, grab a top nigga, try to take my life, try to take my life. I'm gonna kill him all, fuck, let him get to me. Get to me, he'll beat the city, I'll hit the city. He's inside of me, that's a fucking man. What's his name? Gotta name my blunt nigga. What's his name? Nigga know what's up and if I don't, I bet I show him. I bet I show him, nigga. I think his name was. I think his name was. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bitch, pussy feels so good, but she love more than me. Fuck her, her friend, her friend want more than me. I can see what I'm wrong, but bitch don't come for me. Say bitch don't come for me. Leave me alone, cause you won't hear from me. You won't hear from me. Pussy nigga, that guy to probably let me in. Hopefully it'll be me and shot in the bitch. Yeah, that video hard. Story behind the video. Oh my god, wow. I hit a um I hit a Rocky. I hit a Rocky. I just DM'd him on Instagram. I was watching him for a long time. And I just paid for it. And I had I ain't know what song I wanna do for a long time. And then I eventually I did it. And went out there, we met each other, and it was just that. We did it right in there where we met. That's what's up. Yep. One location. Definitely one location. Them night shots in the car was hard. Definitely. Hard. Man, I just sat there uh, spinning around yeah. in the parking lot or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Came out good. I don't know why yeah, you didn't want to drop it. Man. You just down yourself? Yeah. I got a big problem with that, man. Like, everybody no cap. Got, everybody got, issue everybody got that issue. Trust. Okay. Yeah, you All just right. gotta let that it's shit just a go. part of being a human, man. Yeah, right. man. Being an artist, especially, yeah. That I'm talking about that whole song, bro. It's crazy because that song I was like going back and forth, like it was a big ass studio I was in recording that bit by myself, waiting on the engineer. Engineer, I didn't even come that night. So I was like, damn bro. I waited. Thank God my uncle taught me how to record. Yeah. So I'm in that bit playing around. And they been walking back and forth. Yeah, straight up. Doing that shit. I'm talking about doing it. That's why you heard the headphones. Yeah. Fall. And that bit, cuz. I was doing that. That shit was crazy, man. I don't know. It's a lot of bad stories behind all them songs. Like, it's deep, though. Deep. I feel it. I feel it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good thing you knew how to. Oh, at what age did he teach you how to do that? Shit. I would. I started rapping 17, 18. I was 18. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, most people, they would have just went home. Like, yeah, man, straight man, up. Man, shit to record, man. I'm going to tell y'all what, anybody listening, uh, one of the best pieces of advice I got was uh, when you're in the studio, don't just sit there. You know what I mean? Learn from that's your engineer. I did. Uh, learn from, you know, anybody that's that's around you, the producers, things of that sort. If they talking, you know what I mean? Like, if you paying them, you definitely should be learning from them. That's definitely. free game. I had this one engineer I used to go to all the time. I ain't gonna say his name, but um, I used to watch him do it every single day. Like you know what I'm saying? We used to be there every single day. I used to go to him every single day after school. Like, it was crazy. I used to be in the studio like that. And I'm saying, like a couple years later, somewhere around like last year. He didn't even know how to record me no more, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it be like that. I was right. like, damn. Right. I think I learned, you know what I'm saying? That's why people got to 
watch because straight up people just be in there record you probably for money you know what I'm saying? Indeed. You never know. indeed it's a lot of people out there like that man there's a lot of people that understand you know hey i can charge this much and it's not because of my talent it's not because of my ability it's because this studio has a name or because this equipment is yeah that, that's gonna try by equipment yeah so Definitely. Uh, those are things you got to be mindful of and look out for you need to uh kind of have an idea of how you want to sound so that you can work with your engineer don't be afraid to ask questions or say things i suggest try being your own engineer and you might like your own music like you know what i'm saying you you got no you're not paying for nothing indeed indeed you know what i'm saying besides plugins all right you know what i'm saying plugins gonna come with it all right you know what i'm saying uh, that's all you gotta learn you can go on youtube and learn the same shit. yeah or pay 100%. for a program people do that 100 percent, 100 percent i mean yeah yeah no you are absolutely right i mean but at this point you have all the resources available for you to be able to do whatever you need to do i mean if everybody getting that bag go to a quote that's right the bag now that's 100 you know what i'm saying that's where the bag at yeah. right now yeah. yeah and according to yourself i'm assuming you save a bunch of money a ton, a ton. i mean i, I I don't know where people record at you know what i'm saying some of the studios i've been like i paid 75 an hour i paid 125 an hour you know what i mean well, 150 you know what i'm saying people probably didn't put up like 40 grand in the studio time with me like you know what i'm saying straight up undrop songs you know what i'm saying up. like no cap songs that you never hear time that you you know you 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 don't see and i say forty thousand. that's because you got to add up everything that's going on the gas people is like if somebody looking out for you all that shit it still got to come back you know what i'm saying 100 no percent. lie like it's still the same thing it's just like the label yep but it's real life and then you know i saying? mean the biggest thing i used to think about was the time accrued like uh we used to go to atlanta and we take up, you know, Friday to Sunday studio time, damn near 36 hours worth of studio time. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And um, you think about it, you know, you putting in a lot of effort. It's like, yo, somebody, everybody around me got to see something from this. Definitely. You know what I mean? Like, and it's kind of like uh, heartbreaking for the new people, like, who come out and don't really make too much off the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? True indeed. So it's true like, indeed. you're making nigga want to quit knowing you really want to do it. So it's on some shit like... Got it. Yeah, you gotta hone in. I Definitely. Mean, like I say, yeah, today, you gotta be very creative. Mm hmm It's another way to make um uh, like I say, make money off something else as an artist, bring another uh thing towards the situation. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, trust. Uh having side hu not even to say side hustles, but you know side endeavors that that bring more attention to your music yeah things that help the, the business thing. yeah so the yes, music indeed. is a business at the same time you regardless about it as an additive mm -hmm. you know so like you doing now you know with your branding and such you're thinking outside of the box it's not just you know what i mean t-shirts or uh, socks you know you you're adding the draws you know what i mean mm -hmm. now you can get a full you already got it as a capsule you could put all of it together and sell it as a fit yeah you know what i'm saying we got some gummies coming too but that's a sneak peek so, so it's again, on some like weight loss gummies all that type of shit so it's like master p is the biggest mogul of that right now you know what i mean when it comes to hip-hop mm -hmm. because the way he markets every different product it brings you back to the fact that he once had no limit mm -hmm. definitely man i actually knew um somebody he was um real close with Fino phenomenal mm -hmm. from uh new orleans mm -hmm. rest in peace he um died like last year yeah but I made I got a song with him on release, so hopefully we gonna drop it eventually. But right, you know, but it's just like that. Like he was telling me shit like that how he came up. And you could lose it all just as fast as you get it. So you just gotta think quick, think about what you are gonna do because he he made it to the point. He told me he was there. Mm -hmm. It's some shit like he had it all. So it's on some shit like you could lose it all. Like you know what I'm saying? One hundred percent. He said as fast as you get it. So it's kind of scary, bro. But at the same time. It's a lot like, of rappers going through that right now like you know what i'm saying that's one thing like you got to be present I, and again a little bit of advice present um enjoy things in the moment because mm -hmm. like you say it can be gone in a second and it's not always 
things that are are easy to forecast you know what i'm saying in 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 everything it, it feels good in the moment you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like yo i was spending thousands of dollars cash out of my pocket you know what i'm saying i had a couple homies that definitely helped out to where you know i could say they put in thousands as well you know what i mean but like you think about it yo you put up 20 bands of your own and you look at it and say what 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 do we do next you know what i'm saying exactly. like and it's and i'm kind of stuck in that point bro at the same time but it's on some shit like i kind of can't like back down from this shit bro like real life real life bro like what little what you gonna do all right all right so in my eyes i've you, been plotting our steps yeah and 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 that's it once you like are at that stage you really have to like put everything in trust the the process like i said um be present enjoy everything in the moment you know what i mean mm-hmm. and live it to the fullest like have one focus you know what i mean Definitely. all that one foot in one foot out shit it don't work you know what i mean mm-hmm. you see it in artists today so Definitely. hey uh, you gonna be you gotta be here to stay that's it that's it man and if you lock in you reap you really do reap the rewards there's not one artist there's not one creative person there's not one podcast you know what i mean mm-hmm. that that puts in the consistency that doesn't see progress or or major benefits from it you know what i'm saying like you could we could be a testament to that so definitely yeah it might take a little time but still if you work at it then of course that shit, yeah you reap the benefits. Way out. that's it that's it but i say man like you got your, you got your team here man you got your camera man take it behind the scene yeah. you take the shit serious so. all right Gotta salute that. Yeah, for sure. That's um. So um, what you working on now? Like any projects or anything? Um, I got Hasten Three on the way, man. I got I had a Hasten project. I, that was my first EP. When I first started rapping. That's what I said when I thought I was trash and shit like that. And then I dropped a Hasten Two, and then I dropped God of Guns after that. So it was like little mixtapes. So I'm dropping another mixtape, but I don't. I was gonna drop it December this year, but I might not. I don't know yet. Cause I got so much shit going on with the merch and shit, but I'm thinking about doing all my videos for all uh, my old oh, songs. Shit, yeah. So tell us about Hasten. Where does that name come from? Hasten is hate. First time I ever seen I seen it on Young Boy Face. Mm-hmm. Hasten is hate. So when I searched it up on Google, I was like, damn. And I was like, but I always had people hating on me since I was younger. So it's right. like, at that point, I was like, definitely, that's equal. That's good. And I named the album that Hasten. Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. That's it. Kept going with that. And my mama used to ask me and shit like that. Like, you gonna care about pe- what people gonna say about you? I'm like, man, that's what it is. I'm being me. Yeah. Exactly. That's from real shit. At all times. So you working on that, man? Any videos you got in the tuck? Definitely. I know you say you about to. Like me and Rocky got some shit on the way right now. In the mix. So get ready for that. Me and Paper Trail finna have something coming real soon again. And um, Cho want me to do something with Kid with a can. I got to hit him up, though. Okay, so, that's what's up, what's up. Definitely. Hey, you about to do an in-studio performance with us, man. So definitely. Yeah, we got to listen to those. What, what song you about to do? Shit, I might do, um, shit, probably, I don't know. It's called Monument. Monument, okay. Monument, unreleased. So, yeah, y'all about to hear an unreleased song. Definitely. Exclusive for R.E.O.P., man. So I'm going to let you plug all your shit, man. Of course, we're going to get you back. Uh, we need a part two for this. Yeah, we definitely need, need a part two because I got a bunch more questions, but I don't want this to go on too long. But yeah, definitely. we definitely get a part two down the road, man. So I'll let you plug all your stuff. Definitely. We'll get into this right. performance. Sir. Let, uh, let the people know where they can find you at. Uh, You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at 38 Sluts, Google. That TikTok dancing, bro. What you doing? Nah, <laughs> man. I be hey, playing around. Be with us now. We ain't gonna judge to, you. To be honest, bro, me. I don't be doing none of that, bro. I mm-hmm. actually want to learn, bro. Some girl, my girl be trying to make me learn how to do it, but I don't be like, man, I don't know, bro. It's hard, bro. I don't know how to, do, I don't know how to get jiggy with that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Fredo Bang, bro. I'm dancing the club. I just ball, bro. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> no cap. I ain't mad at it. Bro. So, yeah, y'all go ahead and follow him all that, man. Definitely. With all that said, we out.